Hey, it's Phil from Euroheat and we're here at a geothermal um, plant room installation. And part of this system is that the geothermal heat pump produces the hot water. And it does so pretty well. It's got, um, it uses the standard um, refrigeration circuit for heating the water up to say 60 or 65. But then it's got a special thing called a desuperheater, which um, extracts high temperature, uh, high temperatures from uh, a part of the refrigeration cycle, which means you can get the water temperature up to, let's say, 85. So it's really handy. But that's not actually the reason that um, I'm talking to you in this video. The reason is, before we came to this project, because we're actually redoing this project after another contractor, um, there was only, the, the, all of the hot water was produced by this heat pump. And that meant if something went wrong with the heat pump, which it was all of the time, the hot water would cut out. So you can see behind me over there that there's a tank and that's just an electric hot water tank. And that's been put in there temporarily while we're redoing the, um, the system here to make sure that the house has hot water. But that brings me to the point, which is there should always be a redundancy measure for your hot water. Because if the heating or cooling goes out for a few days, you can survive that. Well, in Australia, I should say, we can survive that. Maybe not in, not in Europe or North America. But um, here, you know, we can survive a few days without heating and cooling. But have you ever tried to go without hot water? It's a nightmare, right? You're going to your friend's house or your, your parents' house or whoever's house for a shower. Um, and, you know, life as you know it is really badly affected. So for this one, for this project here, we've got the big white tank there and that's the hot water tank, uh, which is heated by the heat pump. But we've actually got in the, in the sort of middle, there's a bit of a black um, circular with a um, steel sort of screw in it. And what that is, is a, an electric element. And that will only ever come on automatically if there is a problem with the heat pump for whatever reason. Let's say, you know, the ground, the, the heat exchanger clogs up or, you know, there's some other unknown reason, surprise, why it stops working. Fine, that's okay. No heating or cooling for a few hours, but hot water is always taken care of. And that means that you can shower, you can wash the dishes, you can do all the things you need to do to go to school, to go to work the next day. So make sure that no matter if it's a geothermal system, an air source system, whatever type of system, you should always have redundancy for your hot water, a backup plan for your hot water in your house. So if you'd like help with a geothermal system or a hot water system for your building, uh, commercial building, residential building, apartments, please give us a call at Euroheat. We'd love to help you.